Welcome to the range. This is our Valentine's Day special edition. And here we have some of your usual panel. J.B. Brown. You know. The Honorable Chris Gallen. Steve Omari. Miss Mandy Bowling. Leah Jones. <laughs> Rocky. Raquel Smith and two, two new to the panel, Sarah Nichols and Heather Freeman. So, three topics, of course, here on our show. And we're going to start off with um, one topic I know one of our panelists has a little story about. Um, showing interest in the life of someone you're attempting to talk to. And I, we're going to start off with the honorable one. Thank you for putting me on the spot. <laughs> well, okay, um, I was in a situation to where I was interested in somebody, and I would listen to the interest that they're in and, tr you know, try to learn a little bit about it and try to see what's going on with it. But then when it comes to mine, they didn't care at all. Just didn't care at all. And you know, I kept trying to, for, I didn't try to force them, but I kept trying to put it out there just a little bit to see if they'd catch on, but they just never did. And then I just had to let it go. I just had to let it go. And you know, I know all women are not the same. It was just this particular person, but is it that bad to have an interest in what the person you're talking to has an interest in? That's all I want to know. Heather. Why are you calling me first? I don't, oh, um, I, I can't really like side with what he's saying because I think I'm kind of that type of person too. Um, it's it's hard when you're getting to know somebody to just like click with everything they like, but it is important if you're interested in someone to talk back with them and find out about what they like. And if you don't agree with them or don't like something they like, then just let it be known, but at least show interest and show that you're trying to get to know them. If they don't try, then to me that means that they're probably not all that interested. Sarah? I agree with her, for sure. I mean, if they're not interested, then they're not worth it, and there's someone that will be interested. Simple as that, so I agree with you. Steve? I'm not trying to co-sign with everybody, but uh... <laughs> Like basically what everybody was saying, like if somebody's not showing, you know, trying to get the effort to show interest in at least one aspect of something that you like, then they're probably not the person that you want to chill with. And you can't force somebody to do something they don't want to do, so you know, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. Mandy. Um Okay, I agree with what everyone's saying. <laughs> but to add on to it, I guess you could say that um if they don't Obviously, they don't show interest in you or whatever. Don't keep, like, trying to put yourself out there because then it's either, like, you think, oh, she's annoying or he's annoying or, oh, God, I can't stand this person. And then it just turns into something just ugly. Mm -hmm. So if you know that they're not interested in you, just be friends, be cool with them, but go on. <laughs> Rocky. I'm co-signing with everybody. Um, <clears throat> If that person isn't interested in anything you are, then you probably just want to keep a good friend so you don't uh, get confused or have problems down the line. Leah. Well, well, I'm going to take myself out of the cosign category because <laughs> I myself, I'm very self-centered. So if I'm talking to somebody, I mean, I kind of take a little bit of interest in and what they have going on in their life, but for the most part, I don't. <laughs> I'm very, I'm not going to lie, I'm very self-centered. I try, I try, sometimes I try, but most of the time I just don't care. If you, if you want to push me away, just go. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. JB. You know what, I'm so glad she was like, like, <laughs> strong enough to say, admit like, that she's self centered I mean, it doesn't mean that she's cocky or anything like that, but. I mean, if the person's not interested in whatever, just, man, just move on before you uh, probably end up hurting yourself and saying something you're going to regret and have that person hating your guts. So, man, just move on. It's not that serious. Chris, what do you think? 
Oh, I mean, I did not commit, so I'm, I'm oh, so you good, good to go. I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, I didn't commit. Moving on. Keep that on. Chris did not commit. All right. <laughs> Second topic, <clears throat> going out to the women. The question is, would you ever go up to a guy that you're interested in? Why or why not? Leah. <laughs> Seems as if you have a little bit to say. <laughs> like ask him out or just, or just like, talk to be him. like, hey, what's up? Well, right. I'm forward. So the guy that I've been with for like almost two years, I did approach him. I was rude to him. And <laughs> when I first met him, so I guess he stayed, decided to stay around because he liked my rudeness. So I go out, I'm, I go after what I want. So if I like a guy or think he's cute, I'm going to go up to him and be like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. And then I won't take his number. I'll give him mine. But then I won't text them. So I kind of date like a dude, so don't ask me any more questions about that. <laughs> Rocky. Um, I mean, I guess it just, I, I don't have a problem with going and going up and talking to a guy or asking for his phone number. So I just, it's just that simple. It's not hard. Hello. Hi. My name is whatever. Give me the digits. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy. Um, uh, I've been told I'm the flirty type, so I kind of, I may not say much or anything like that, but I just kind of appear and I flirt. Just like, you know, just innocent flirting. Nothing like, look at me or anything like that, but, you know, just I flirt a little bit and then just kind of see where it goes from there. And then they show interest, they do. If they don't, then next person will flirt. So. <laughs> Sarah. I'm kind of with her. Like, if I think a guy, if he's hot, like, I'll go up to him, I'll talk to him, I'll flirt with him. But I'm not the type of person to ask him for his number. I think that's his job. Because I'm just really old fashioned when it comes to that. Like, if a guy likes me, if he's interested, you can ask for my number and you can text me. But, oh, I mean, I'll go up, <laughs> I'll go up to him, but I won't ask him out or ask for his number. So. <coughs> Kind of the same as them. Um, I like her. I'm kind of old-fashioned and I'm kind of shy. Like just to go up to a guy. Like a lot of my friends are real forward <laughs> like that and try to make me be like that. Like go up to him, Heather, <laughs> here. But I can't do that. Um, I'll like put myself in his vicinity and just you know look at him or you know give him that eye. But, <laughs> but I won't like go up to a guy and ask for his number or anything like that. All right. <laughs> All right. We will have more on this specific topic here on the range after this break. Stay tuned.